Good morning guys, how are you today? I am doing great. Wait a second, let me show you something. This is the Amazon rainforest. I'm 20 kilometers north of Leticia and I'm following an 8 kilometers trail that is gonna take me to my next accommodation for the following two nights, right in the middle of nowhere. It's gonna take me two hours to get there. I'm going to need some company along the way, so come with me. Walking in the Amazon rainforest is scary and fascinating at the same time. If you just think about the fact that there are so many things that could kill you, it's just better not to think about it. Have I already mentioned how humid is the Amazon rainforest? Well, it's very humid. After a fairly challenging and rewarding walk among streams and wonderful vegetation, I finally reached Casa Azul. First, to recover some energies, a bath in the natural pool. The place is beautiful. You are in the middle of the jungle without giving up comfort and the feeling of well-being. Everything is made of wood. There is no cement around. Attending the guests, there's Alejandra, the owner of the place, with her father. Originally from Bogota, they moved here looking for a different lifestyle. Alejandra loves cooking. You'll see her spending most of the day in the kitchen prepping delicious food. They wake up at 4 in the morning just to make fresh bread. The dessert has a generous sprinkling of cocoa made from seeds of cocoazu, also known as the white cocoa of the Amazon, obviously homemade. The three-level viewing platform is the perfect place to observe the treetops of the rainforest while the sun is setting over the jungle. One of the things that have always intrigued me are the roofs of the traditional houses here in the Amazon, so I decided it was time to understand a little bit more about them. For this I asked Mr. Carbonero for help, and with his profound experience he showed me how it's done which plants to use, where to find them, and how to twist them together to form a piece of roof.
At sunset, it's not difficult to see monkeys jumping between the trees. They are quite noisy and very lively. As night falls, the forest wakes up. The perfect opportunity for a night walk. A tarantula. There are thousands out here along with spiders of any sort of color, size and shape. I left Casasul on the next misty morning to reach a neighboring community of indigenous people. Five ethnic groups coexist in the same space. The Miranias, Boras, Ticunas, Jaguares and Mitotos. I will spend the night here to observe and learn something about their way of living. That's a Maloca, the traditional home for family and communal use, built by indigenous people in the Amazon of Colombia, Brazil, Ecuador and Peru. A place to get in touch with spirits, but also a political space where decisions are made for the community. Symbolism is very strong in every Maloka. A circle is carved next to the door, representing the moon and the sun, and a manguare, an important instrument for communication, is carved on the other side. The Malokas also function as a solar calendar that guides the indigenous people about which times are the best to grow some crops or perform some rituals. Four big pillars divide the Maloka in different sections. Each section has a specific role. There's the kitchen, for women to cook and transmit their knowledge to the young girls of the house. A space for the leader of the Maloka, usually an elder. A place to process the mambe, and a place for the guests. In the pot, a delicious tea made with a very aromatic limoncillo. The abuela, the grandmother of the house, came back with some yuca brava a toxic kind of yuca that needs to be carefully processed to be eaten. Because of its toxins, she loses sensitivity in all hands while grating it. There's no much choice, this is the main food in the village.
They eat it accompanied by tucupi, a sauce fermented and cooked from cassava brava using an ancestral recipe. It's now time to take part in the production of the mambe. Mambe is a powder obtained by toasting, grinding and sifting Amazonian coca leaves, generally mixing them with ashes from the leaves of the jarumo tree as an alkaline additive. For South American indigenous people, coca is a mother, a sacred plant that nourishes and gives life, a medicine that heals body and spirit. Decir que en, en las culturas huitoto, uh -huh. esta es la, la mujer, por eso es que la, la coca hay que tra tratarlo con delicadeza, ah. se coge así despacio. It's time to light up the fire to toast the coca leaves. At the same time, jarumo leaves are set on fire to collect their ashes. The ashes are then filtered with a cloth to remove the bigger lumps. The crunchy sound of the coca leaves tells us that they are ready to be pulverized. Both the powders are ready to be combined and then filtered one more time. Son dos manotas grandes para esta porción que mezcla que. And this is the final result. I tried it while listening to old stories of gods, spirits and mambe. The flavor and texture are both surprisingly good. The mambe is usually consumed together with ambil, a reduction of tobacco into paste, and rapé, a dried and powdered tobacco snuff used as a powerful and beautiful healing medicine. ¿Cuál nariz? Mm. ¿Cualquiera? No, no hay que respirar. Ahí sí. <coughs> sí, ese es así. Cuando estás respirando, <coughs> tranque la respiración. Pero no pasa nada, eso este es medicina. <coughs> eso es bueno para el COVID también. Eso le quita todo ese mal, malestar suyo. <coughs> Está fuerte. Sí, sí. <coughs> no, no, primera vez es así. Ya la segunda, no bajando, no bajando. Wow, eso está fuerte, pero es muy bueno. Te, te abre la nariz, te abre todo, botas todo lo que no sirve. Uh. Uh. Wow. 
Y eso es tabaco. Tabaco, propio tabaco. No, no tiene otra química, no Exacto. tiene otra cosa. O sea, tabaco, polvo de tabaco y polvo ya. Polvo de tabaco y ya. Y te hace esto. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ay, increíble. It was time to leave the Maloca to head up north. It was a Sunday and people were gathering, feasting and grilling together some meat, including caimans. I kindly passed on the mohohoy, also known as the Amazon protein. Guys, let me introduce you Hector. We just met in Leticia a couple of days ago and we probably just took the most dangerous decision of our lives. Mm -hmm. You want to tell us <laughs> what is that about? We're about to go into the Colombian Amazon jungle for four days. It's going to be a hell of an experience. I'm not quite sure what we signed up for. With us, Davey, our 21 years old guide and Nelson, his older brother. Una vez me perdí en la selva cuando tenía 14 años. Fue una experiencia que hoy en día me ha servido de mucho porque he aprendido a sobrevivir, he aprendido a identificar todo tipo de plantas, tanto medicinales y plantas de frutas comestibles. Tres días estuve perdido en la selva, hoy, hoy en día tengo mucho cuidado y he aprendido bastante, no me meto en lugares que no conozco porque como yo he dicho, al monte no lo tengas miedo, téngales un respeto. No andes donde que no conoces, porque tienen sus misterios. Para mí la selva es mi hogar. Es el sitio donde que crecí, donde que aprendí a sobrevivir, a caminar, donde que aprendí a cazar, aprendí a pescar. Este es mi hábitat, es mi hogar. Aquí nací y aquí moriré. Off we go. The idea is to walk our way through the jungle, reaching the first campsite within two hours. On the second day, keep walking until we reach our deepest campsite, about 14 kilometers into the Amazon rainforest. On the third day, we'll start to walk our way back. And on the last day, we are going to walk the biggest distance to get back to the village. It's 4 p.m. The idea is to walk until 7 p.m. and then set up a camp to spend the night. The guys are just gonna eat what they are able to hunt. Of course, I'm not gonna eat any animals, so I have with me some snacks. But the rule is that I'm gonna eat just in case they're gonna catch something as well. If they don't catch anything, they're not gonna eat, I'm not gonna eat. It's starting to rain. Hector is leading the way, removing all the spider webs with his face. Good job, Hector. We just entered the Amazon rainforest and it's giving us a bit of covering from the rain. The clouds and the trees don't let too much light in, so it's already pretty dark in here. Cuando uno se mete a los bosques donde que no hay camino, nosotros aquí como cazadores para no perdernos partimos las ramas de los palitos. ¿Por qué motivo? Porque a la hora de que tú puedes vas a caminar una dos horas al fondo, si tú quieres que devolverte al camino de donde iniciaste pues vas a ir identificando las ramas que partiste en ese caso son los que vamos partiendo ahorita porque aquí no estamos metiendo en un bosque donde que no, como miran no hay camino entonces nos toca hacer al estilo cazador uno como cazador siempre está pendiente tanto arriba y tanto en el piso ¿por qué motivo? porque la culebra cuando está lloviendo le gusta salir y está esperando su presa en este caso es la rana la rana le gusta salir cuando llueve Entonces uno tiene que estar pilas también como cazador, de pronto ¡tac! ataca. Y ahorita que está como oscurito, pues no se le puede mirar muy bien. 
The reason why we went off road is because he's chasing a toucan. The toucan was too high in the trees and we were too noisy. Wiper. Currently two hours in to this trek. It's about 5 p.m. The sun's starting to set. We've got about an hour of daylight left. Este, como pueden ver, este sitio era antes una pista en tiempo de Pablo Escobar aquí aterrizaban los aviones a recoger lo que era la coca y el ejército vino y lo destruyó como miraste allá el hueco, lanzaban granadas y causaron mucho daño y eso impidió que los aviones aterrizaran y hoy en día ya se mira la pura selva este es el cráneo del caimán, es, no es un cocodrilo, es un caimán, los cocodrilos son más grandes a él le falta todavía crecer como lo pueden mirar ahí todavía era un, un bebé Se le cayó. Sí, lo utilizamos para el alimento este es el primer cruce que vamos a realizar como pueden mirar se los tapó la quebrada se está creciendo y toca meternos llegó la hora de la diversión se va el primero va tocando Dale. ¿Qué tal? <risa> Ay, no. Espérate, voy a buscar el machete. ¿Qué tal hondo es? Es hondo siempre. Pero muy. ¿Ah? Muy hondo. Sí. You were right. It's not easy. No, it's not easy, is it? Mosquitos. Ya coro, ¿no? Oh. You okay? <laughs> oh, the cut in it. There's a cut in it. It's cut. It's cut. It's cut. It's Obviamente tenía que caer, que caerme yo. How was that? You okay? It's nice. Yeah. Refreshing. <laughs> I did it on purpose, by the way, just for the show, you know. Just arrived to the camp campsite for the first night. How are we doing, boys? <laughs> It's gonna be a wet night. Oh, fantastic! Uy! Estamos en el hábitat de las anacondas, del caimán, de la nutria y de la raya y peces. Oh, I told you. Ese? Mhm. Ah, I couldn't make it. The <laughs> guy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Ah, es solo uno. Dale, dale, dale. Todavía queda. Se puede arrancar. Dale, dale. Oh, ¿Qué pasó? Oh. Amazonas. Tírate, tírate. Uh -huh. Night has come and Nelson is building a shelter for the fire. We haven't found anything to eat yet and we don't have a fire. So this little guy right here is dinner for tonight. <laughs> Tastes like dirt. <laughs> like soil. <laughs> Have you eaten this before? Yes. <clears throat> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, I hate, I hate country. <laughs> oh, this one's, this one's a lot worse. No, no gusta. <laughs> <laughs> The boys decided to go hunting. Worms wouldn't be their dinner. After an hour of searching, they found what they came for. You grew a bad man. <laughs> bueno, shot head shoot. Here we have a dormelon. Courtesy of Davy, he <laughs> chopped it in half. Uh, we're gonna try it later. He says it's nice, but we'll be the judge of that. We now we now have a starter to go with our main for dinner tonight. So we will eat no more worms. This is the pescado dormilo. Se llama dormilo porque se duerme. Meanwhile, Nelson made some coffee for us. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day, but uh, can't wait to eat and then get into bed. <laughs> so they're gonna eat their meat and fish and I'm gonna eat my chocolate bars. First night, first night here, the mosquitoes are bad. The mosquitoes are really bad. We're being completely eaten alive. <laughs> It's not fun. We're powering through though. It's wet, but we're gonna try and start a fire. A plastic sheet to shelter from the rain and some hammocks, all held up using bark from a tree called Espintana. The fire was ready and dinner too.
<risa> Buenos días. Aquí tenemos a la oruga. Es la comida del amigo Héctor. <risa> Por hoy no lo quiso comer porque estaba lleno. Ayer se comió dos. <risa> It's uh, 7:30 in the morning. Woken up half an hour ago, waiting for the rain to stop so we can get going again. And he's trying to make me eat this. Food has arrived. We've got a mixture of plantain and perdiz, which is the bird that we got yesterday, and some river water, but it smells bloody amazing. <laughs> And at this point, I would eat anything because I'm starving. <laughs> what do you think? Looks good? Uh, not at all, but it's no? okay. You can go on. Want to go chat up? That is amazing. Go with a spoon? Ah, mete ahí la cuchara. Sí. Échale la sopa. Ajá. What do you say? like uncooked rice. What's that? What do you say? It's like arroz no cocinado. Oh, still have the foot on. <laughs> oh, stop. And... Mmm. Mmm. Chewy, it's a bit like uh, a gamey, a uh, gamey chicken, a bit like pheasant. While the guys were eating, I waited for the rain to stop on my hammock. Drying off the last of the clothes, making sure we got something dry for today. Oh, it's just packing up the camp. Ready to head out in about 20 minutes. The first night has been perfect. We slept very comfortably. We had hammocks, mosquito nets, and a plastic cover to keep us dry. The fireplace, food, water. I drank some river water. We bought it first, let it cool down, and after I drank it, because I ran out of my one. And of course, the sounds of the natures are unbelievable here. Uh, yeah, it was perfect. Uh, day two, we're running very low on water. Uh, Finding clean water isn't that easy. That accompanied with being very dehydrated is lowering morale a little bit. It's hard, it's so hard. This is the cien pie, and here is the Amazonas. This sirve para remedio de la hernia. Lo utilizan para eso. Aquí como pueden ver tenemos el fruto de esta palma, se llama chapaja, es una fruta comestible, es un poquito dura pero por dentro eh, tiene como un, un poco de coco, digo, como un coquito y eso es rico, es como aceitoso. Ella está la carne, le falta endurar un poquito pero ya está para comer. The boys were hunting again. While we were looking for food, we passed through an area full of guacamayas, okay. the beautiful parrots of the Amazon. Of course, we didn't pass unnoticed.
We're in the middle of a cocaine laboratory. Would have been one of Pablo Escobar's bombs by the Colombian government sometime in the 1980s or 90s, where they used to process all the cocaine. Guys, we just arrived at the second campsite. I don't even know what to say. I mean, just look at me, you'll figure it out. What about you? Absolutely knackered. It's been a hard day, we're here now. We just have to cross this log over here and get to the other side of the river and camp over there. How's the new house looking? The new house is looking good. It's a bright sunny day. Lovely day, lovely cold river. Oh, it's freezing. Only one thing to do after fucking trekking through the jungle. Oh. Between yesterday and today we walk 13.5 kilometers and it took us five and a half hour. <sighs> Once again time to light up a fire and boil some river water for the next day. On the menu for dinner that night, a couple of toads. Let's see what the, this toad's all about. It's tasty. It tastes, it tastes like chicken. Four thirty in the morning. Our camp is flooding. There's been a thunderstorm for the last two hours. We are collecting some rainwater for the day. We are just waiting for the rain to stop before crossing the river again. The log we used yesterday is now completely underwater, so it's unusable. This is the log we used to cross yesterday. Completely disappeared. On the other bank, the tree that Davy cut down using only a machete, a tree in the morning, in the rain, to let us cross. No, no puedo. No puedo. No, pues puta. No pudiste. No. Eso. Ah, 
dale que tú puedes coge el otro y lo mismo sale de ahí eso <laughs> Guys, that was probably the scariest thing I've ever done. I was so afraid to fall in the water. The current is very strong. Oof, I'm shaking. On the first attempt with my backpack, I stopped halfway. I was petrified. I had to go back and he had to carry my, my backpack because I couldn't. I couldn't. That was the other. Come on. This is sketchy. <laughs> oh. That is I'm, sketchy. I'm shaking. Man. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> look at those guys laughing about us. Look. They just run across. just reached that third campsite I'm ready to spend one more night in the rainforest it's hard it's not a joke guys it's not a joke uh, you walk a lot in the mud 90% of the time in the mud and the humidity mosquitoes everywhere spiders it's challenging, it's very challenging. I spend most of my day covered in sweat, which is something that I absolutely hate. It's not to exaggerate, but I really can't wait to get out of here. Uh, two nights was enough. Uh, the third night, it's hard. I'm running out of food. I think I just have one pack of crackers left. I'm still drinking uh, river water, which is full of sand. It tastes like smoke because uh, we have to boil it on the on the fire. It's definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. From here, tomorrow is going to be a three hours walk. If we start at 6 a.m., we are going to be back home at 9 a.m. This is literally what I have left for one and a half day. That night, the guys came back with something quite big. The third night is past, we made it, we are finally heading to the village. Happy to be going home. <laughs> now I'm very tired. <laughs> Como vamos? Muy bien.
Oh, fuck. Yeah, on our final hike back. Got about an hour to go. Been hiking for about three hours. Uh, no water, no food in the last 12 hours. We are out. You see houses? I am dead. I'm not exaggerating with this. I'm done. I had to swap back with him because it was too heavy. Oh. For the last piece. Now we we'll get out of here. Just drink some cold water and after I'll see you again. Stay there. Hola! Hola! Oh! Oh! Una, por favor. The kids are giving us some local fruit to get a bit of water out of it. Oh. Gracias. <laughs> How is it? Mm. It's the best thing in the world right now. Mm. <laughs> Gracias. 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 Oh. Mm. 27 kilometers later and almost 10 hours of jungle trek, our rainforest adventure finally ended. Do you know what is here? With the carga? No, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. With the camera. He didn't have a bag about five times as heavy as me. Yeah, it is heavy. It's heavy. Let's continue our journey heading even further north until we reach Puerto Nariño, which is going to be my base for two more tours. San Antonio on the Peruvian side of the river and Lake Tarapoto. The community of San Antonio was built on the banks of the river. Unfortunately, it was destroyed by a landslide, which forced the entire community to rebuild the village further internally, in an area occupied years ago by another runaway for planes used for the transportation of cocaine. Wilmer, the community leader, took us on a walk, looking for water lilies and sloths.
the rain on the horizon didn't stop me, so I left for Lake Tarapoto. It's been one of the best boat rides ever, a truly enchanting journey. And then, suddenly, something happened in the water. Grey and pink dolphins breaching the surface while playing together. The communication tree, a centuries-old seiva, used to communicate in a jungle in case of emergency. Fisherman approached us, showing the catch of the day, and the old technique he uses to fish, throwing a floating wooden harpoon.
Dolphins are not the only beautiful thing to observe in Lake Tarapoto. Sunsets are amazing too. With Lake Tarapoto, my Amazon adventure reached an end. I came here with the only goal to see some animals, an anaconda maybe, a jaguar, or whatever dangerous animal I could spot around, just for the sake of it. But I went away with a new perspective of the jungle, a deeper understanding of its people and their culture, and way more respect for a living and breathing creature that has been around for more than 55 million years.